Oh, baby. That 100% has me nervous. Lori made dad proud. <laughs> All right, what a great way to start it off. I think we're the only house in the cul-de-sac that got tumbleweeds all night long. Hey, introduce Ethan. Haven't seen you. Well, I haven't even seen you. We haven't seen you on videos or anything else. Hi, welcome back. You took a break from college for a minute to come hang out with us oh, on vacation. Flying up the street. Actually, I think this can be considered spring break. I think spring break is happening right now. So welcome back, Ethan, to the channel. Adam, glad to have you. Are you guys going to help work? Are you going to be on vacation? Oh, oh. oh, man, this is... We'll get out and uh, see the beautiful mountains, Rockies of Utah. What do you guys want for breakfast? Wow, that looks... Delicious. This is like a hungry man's breakfast. Oh, do you guys get? <laughs> so you got food. Good job, Adam. All right, we are now somewhere at some state park going somewhere. I know that's really confusing, but I found tractors. Didn't have to get too far outside of Nebraska to find some tractors with what looks like pivot tires. We have a nice lake. I don't know if it's windy here every day or just because people from Nebraska came out, but we've got some severe, this is not severe wind. We've got like a Tuesday in Nebraska out here and some puppy dogs. Okay, cool. That usually, yes. Just make sure he contacts me to make sure I'm around. To the, what appears to be the Laura's Farm's booth. And we got Grant over there, Dan, anchoring down. Do they have that tire anchored down? Oh, they did put blocks on it. <laughs> I need it. We need to put that tire onto one of these vehicles. Did he bring a set of four? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, let's go help Grant out. Look at that. Look at that car. That looks fun. Nice. I kind of feel like I should have brought a Jeep or four-wheeler or side-by-side. I think we have the uh, boys <laughs> running the tent. Awesome sauce. That's hey guys. Thanks guys for helping out. What do you think? Huh? Looks, it's looks it's Wendy. So what do you think of this this equipment here? Are you guys going to be able to drive anything, or would you like to drive? I would love to. If I get an opportunity, I'm, I'm over All right. Is there one over there? I think I think um, Grant's going to bring the trailer here tomorrow, very possibly. Oh, there is a cash box. Nice. Hey, shout out to U.S. Bank for giving us money. I said not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored, but... They were very helpful. U.S. Bank and Hurricane Utah. Just Dad out here running the Laura Farms booth. Very glad, happy, and proud to do it. It feels good to sit in the sun. If you're out of the wind in the sun, it actually feels really good. Really appreciate the conversations I've had, have had with the people that come by and. They're like, well, we came out here for the wrecker and recovery, but now apparently we're going to go home and learn about farming, <laughs> which is awesome. So we're a little bit out of our element being out here, but uh, I think Laura 
is getting a brand new audience of record dude, record people, and uh, recovery people um, that might find out about Nebraska irrigated farming as they come home. But yeah, really appreciate a lot of these conversations. By the time this video drops, you guys will all be home, but feel free to stop by the booth and just chat. We're doing really pretty good over here. Look at the white caps on that lake out there. That is pretty wild. Sorry, it's difficult to get a word in with this crew. Wow, these games are as intense as these drifts of sand that are forming, just like snow drifts. It is wild. I think there is a reason why they call it Hurricane, Hurricane, Utah. But the games are, yeah, big showing. A lot of people, lots of lovely, wonderful machines. This is a very, very neat event. Wild. Film over there, Ethan, for me, if you would. They're doing what? Towing over there? Yeah, like record pulls on different kind of vehicles. All right. <laughs> Who are you guys? I think this would be a great time to rent two two-seaters. Which one do you want? You have 92. To look after. Are you gonna? You guys want to drive? Oh, yeah. Better let Uncle Dan drive. He's the best. We've got a number of machines out here with helmets, or we can just maybe do those Humvees. For those of you who don't know, uh, we're gonna drive around. Hey, do we even enter our raffle tickets? Forgot to put those in. Ah, here, look at this tow vehicle. What do we got going on over here? Good job, guys. Smell that diesel smoke. <laughs> All right, so apparently these are 2024 machines with what, five hours on it, Adam? 70 miles. These are brand new machines. This is really awesome. And we get it for all three days and we can keep it. So we just bring it back to the VRBO or park it in Laura's tent. Where do we keep these things? Stash them back here. We'll maybe leave them on the edge, not the edge of a cliff, but park precariously somewhere for a good photo opportunity. Essentially up on top of a rock. That's what I'm thinking. These are nice helmets. Yeah. All right, what else do I need to know about this machine? Where's the radio? and the speakers you know the important things out there there's uh matt is up on stage 
for Matt's off-road stuff. Handing out $1,000 gift certificates, apparently. We should maybe over there focusing on the games instead of over here having fun. All right, Adam's just pairing his device to... So you can get your text messages while we drive. Yep. Oh, this place is awesome. Super windy. Wow, what an incredible adventure. The rock climbing, crawling, the technical nature of this course. I completely understand how people can get into trouble and need wreckers or rescue for... Like just going on this trail right here, you could easily fall into that little ravine and that would be not good. But Bad Moose Rentals out here, shout out for giving us new machines. They're very capable, but some of the stuff is, I don't know, it's it's, I feel confident but I can also see heavy danger on either side of the situation. about those dunes. Yeah, it's great. It's, you know, it's high, you know, high speed, you're jumping, you're drifting, and then you come up to the drop off, and it's straight Oh, down. here, look at a little taste of Nebraska, Ethan, for you. Finally. Cows that are calving. Since this is not my herd and I don't know them very well, mama cows with calves, can be a little, well, they can be a little nervous around us. So I'll stay close to my machine, but we will see what they're doing. Go shut your machine off. I hope it'll start back up again. Good looking calves. What do you think, Laura? A month or two? Two months old? Doesn't look. Well, they're protect, protected from the rock walls. All right. Okay. No, Mama, it's not me. That was Cavy Wavy. We didn't make. We didn't make anybody nervous. Well, apparently they have cattle in state, state, state parks. And they like to play. I'm gonna go see what the temperature of that water is. I would like to climb these rocks as well. Look at that. Oh, American flag. Okay, Kale. Yes. Right up there is top of the world. On top of that? Right. So we probably won't go. Are we going to go there today? Yeah, okay. So Let's get back to work. We got two more days out here, so we'll go. Will you take me to the top of the world? Yes. Okay. What's this place called? Water Lake. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <coughs> now we're in out of the wind, but I got to tell you, this truck is really really neat i love the hood scoop or not the hood scoop the blower blown out of the top of the hood look at those tractor agricultural tires 
put on reverse. You just have to love those. So good, so neat. What a great setup. I took a Raptor and made it into a firm vehicle. That's cool. That looks like a wonderful way to get the drone shot when the wind blows way too much. I think there's absolutely no other place to ever get anything stuck than a recovery effort. What do we have here? We have helpers doing all that's needed. That's busy. Yeah, come on down here to the games and get stuck. That's the entire point of the game. All right, go ahead and get stuck, Adam. We'll be number two. Thanks, guys. <laughs> about to witness. I don't even know what it's like, but I've had so much fun so far. I'm already tempted to buy tickets for next year. I hope they do this do this every year. And you've got the entire crowd from the stage moving across under the uh, highway. <laughs> you've got this nice little pass under the highway to go back and forth. But this time of the day, it's usually only a one-way street. So you guys were probably like, oh, Kale, it's raining. Aren't you upset? No, I've got this Carhartt gear on. And so far, the rains haven't been very bad at all. But they can be very spectacular what comes after a rain. Beautiful rainbow. And now the sun is coming out. this taxi service of multiple machines running people up and down the mountain. We're just a two-seater, but how many people, Adam, can we put back here? Legally only two, but I'd say at least like three more. If at we were at home, how many we would we put in? If we private property, I'd say we could get five or six. <laughs> nice. Double rainbow. Well, if people ask me questions, I'm going to give them the answer. Since I'm standing here, apparently I look like I have some sort of authority. So these volunteers, I think there's over 150 volunteers out here, keep asking me, like, what's the flow of traffic for all of the uh, taxis running up the mountain? And I don't know, but he asked, so I gave him an answer. I said, just try to curve around and flow through. Don't hop in like this guy over here and, and pick people up. There might be a, another game here. How many people can you run up the mountain as a 
volunteer, but I think as every as long as everybody conducts themselves in a safe manner, we should be in really pretty good shape. Looks like there might be something a little wonky with this vehicle. Let's move up out of the way, keep the crowd going. What's it look like? Pop the spring out. Okay. Just need a lift. You got a jack? I did think about signing up to be a volunteer out here, but sometimes you just have to jump into action when you see a need. So me and Adam are redirecting traffic around this while we can get this jacked up and get the that spring back on because that tire is digging into the action. We'll just go around right here. Improvise, adapt, overcome, even in Utah. <laughs> Remember folks, safety. So it's a lot safer to go over here. Ah, oh, still a terrific fun event. This is a lot of fun. I love to help out. Oh, and I love a lot of these trucks. Look at this Toyota right here. Beautiful color. This is a really interesting place. It's just so big. And the sand is so fine, it's really unique. Even with the most capable vehicle can struggle in places. You can find like any challenge you want out here, I truly believe, but cool spot. You see what I mean? Even the most experienced, the most qualified, wait for it, wait for it, most experienced, most qualified vehicle still struggles in this sand. Adam, I found something to spend some more money on. He's a good driver. Is it a great car or a great driver? Cool it's electric, it. right? Cool electric. And it does really good in the sand. Yes, well, apparently if he made it that far, now he might be out of battery <laughs> at this point. We're not sure. We'll have to flip out a solar panel. It's pretty <laughs> Momentum is your friend, Adam. It is. Do you think you would have been able to make it up? Oh, first try. I mean, I could take him like three or four times. I, I'd get it first. Ah, uh, he got on the last one. My goodness. The great thing about wide open spaces is you can just walk or climb a little bit and get out on your own which is fantastic so it looks like this lineup is stacked up pretty good i'm i'm not sure where laura is at but the cool thing is uh they got loudspeakers so we can hear them announcing it over the lights loudspeaker i did hear laura's name so i think she's doing well i don't know what level of competition or what level of technical tricky this is but there are sharp sharp drop-offs on either side of these canyons 
that could be or would be just a little bit treacherous. I sent Adam out in the side-by-side -side to go find Ethan and Dan so they can either bomb around or come back over here. But uh, looks like everybody's doing pretty good. Pretty tight lineup. I don't think anybody has failed yet. Uh, what do you think of the truck, Laura? Do we need one at home? Okay, just like farming. Well done. Out here, Steve. Right. Nice. Steve. Oh, baby, that a hundred percent has me nervous. Lori made dad proud. <laughs> What's that? Uh, no, that looks like a rock climber, rock crawler. That one's trail mater, yes. His tow truck's trail mater. This is his trail pre runner.
When they said tug of war, Ethan, I thought it was the trucks, but now also we got a bunch of kids up here. What's happening right now? This is impromptu. No idea what's going on, but we're gonna make the best of it. Since you're my kid, can I send you out, or are you aged out? You qualify? That's not legal. That's not legal. I think we should speak to somebody about legalities in this in this situation. That might be a technical. If you were of this age, would you go out there? 100%. Okay, good. That was awesome. You would be in on this? Yeah, we're good. You guys ready? All right, everybody ready? Hey, Holly, get on this. Holly, you got to help me. Get in there, Holly. We're holding it. Stop yelling at me. That was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good right there. We'll get, we'll see if we can get Laura to do a burnout. Oh, yeah. A much better burnout. Do a burnout! Ah, oh, that was disappointing. <laughs> I wanted Laura. You think they'll make it? I I hope so. I don't want anybody to get hurt either, little buddy. They're too calm in there. I don't understand. Where are you good idea. to do, or is she just doing what it takes? What was that? It's about to fall 
about it's slipping. slipping. It is slipping. Need more traction? You might have to hit neutral. There you go. Okay. It's a pretty complex Basically vehicle. They're able to into, into put the, the rear end in and out. Come on, baby. Oh. Here we go. to give a shout out right, to the so camera guy of this before. operation or the camera yeah, the guys right this. This, there's this some very big rigs out here the camera because dudes. he flipped a land cruiser right here one day and he regrets it oh. all right never mind we might get to it later we're gonna get the speaker bronco up this hill then we're gonna watch laura and rory make it up this hill <laughs> and I don't want to be squished. Also, make sure because we almost had legal eagles fly off the cliff at the time. So make sure you floor it. Yeah! I'm really liking this strategy helping from MC. I appreciate it. You can just like stand there and help spot. No, no, no. Oh, no, never mind. You're going to help spot. Sorry, I wasn't recording that entire time. How's it going? Really good. Yeah, no, it's so cool. What do you think of the game? I was a rock on top of you. I'm surprised you're from the sea. Why would I shoot me? Dude, everybody back home. It's an amazing turnout. Great crowd. Yeah, I like, uh, definitely like Laura and Rory out here. They're doing a great job. But I love all the other cars, creations, vehicles. Sounds like that's going to be Joe. And the other people driving. It's a very diverse group of drivers and riders. Thoughts on Laura so far? How do you think? How do you think she's doing? She's doing amazing. Okay, is this your first time out here? I was out here yesterday. Okay, very good. What do you think hey, so yesterday, far? Yesterday, I think we were the only it's ones. Awesome. Is it good? I'm the only vehicle that took this out. <laughs> now everyone else. Is I agree. Good. Fantastic <laughs> out here. Hey, Laura, is this a pros only moment?
guys are used to Chinooks flying over our house. Or is it a Black Hawk? I think it is. I can't see the numbers on it, but I'm pretty sure it might be a Black Hawk. Nice, very good. Looks good, yep, yep, yep. Nice job, really good. Yay, I get to be the spotter on this beautiful Utah day. Showers are gone, sun is out. Now I gotta be with my boys, teaching them how to climb crawl or roll beautiful now juice it <laughs> that a boy how steep is that cliff you think it's dry oh yeah this might be drivable but I don't want to drive here because nobody else has. I'd like to stay on trail. Well, somebody else has driven over there. Well, I know it. Well, we'll let them do possibly legal, possibly illegal. We want to do stay on the trail and protect the environmental resources of all of this sagebrush. If anybody knows what kind of plants we have out here, I did see a tree. I don't see any cacti, cactuses. But maybe they're out here and we just can't recognize them. Like those bushes. This is really neat. We should invite the rest of our family out here maybe. <laughs> <Probably. laughs> well now this looks like a lot of super fun. Too insane. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well done. That looks really pretty good. Easy and in control. How does it feel to fly through the air? Pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice. Very good. You said it was a good? That was a good one. Oh, what a sweet machine. Yeah, oh, that was good. Maybe the best one yet. So apparently there's a place out here called Top of the World. I think it gives you a pretty good 360 view of windswept San Paulo. Wish you guys could be here in person. Because once again, the camera maybe doesn't do it a whole lot of. All right, again, this sand is really wild. Now we're back somewhere. I don't even know where we're at. But we had a little bit of rain. We'll see Adam come down here. Kind of see how steep it is. <laughs> you like that sinking in? This stuff, since it rained, it's kind of uh, wet. It's got about two inches of firm, and then you're back to dry sand underneath. It is really, really uni unique, unique soil structure. All right, you want me to get in with you?
That's right, moving the sand. Oh, we got people over there. We better head back here pretty soon, maybe. Sometimes I work so long, so much at the farm, and I get stuck in a mindset at the farm of just work, 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 that um, it takes a day or two for me to get away from Nebraska or away from the farm. That can is uh, really good for me and my brain to just reset, relax and reset. Um, very therapeutic. I need to get away probably more often, especially with the stress of farming this year. It's gonna be a lot more difficult, I think, especially with a couple of boys coming back to the farm, finding a spot for them. There's certainly plenty of work for them to do, but figuring out how to pay for it all. And in the really, really good years, did a lot of investing, and it just is, all, I'm always fearful that it's not gonna carry over to the bad years. So I think we're gonna have some low, grain price years for a bit. So I try not to stress about or worry about it too much. I wonder if I can climb up this sand. What is it like to try to walk up? Oh man. Always wear boots, maybe. Uh, earthquake. Avalanche. Good Danner boots. Got some puddles. There is some water in the desert, folks. Signs of life. What in the world of monstrosity creation? <laughs> Are you guys lost? All right, we're gonna follow these guys. They're lost. They can maybe help us find our way out. Did you ever imagine, Ethan, you would find a Lamborghini of sort out here? In the desert, a million years. <laughs> oh, these guys are crazy. Don't rear end them, because I don't want that insurance bill. I don't want to have to explain to my insurance agent how I <laughs> rear in you hit a Lambo in the desert. How did they even tell us? Trust me, listen, you gotta just trust me. 